Hello, welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. So today's handmade garment is a Frankie t-shirt, but I've modified this one. So it's got the same raglan sleeves at the top here, but I've changed the neckline so that it's a bound neckline. Then I've also added a button placket. I just looked up on YouTube how to do a button placket and there was a couple of useful videos I found and I used them to create this one. And it's a real button placket. It's got real buttons on there. And I've popped three little pale blue buttons that go well with the rest of the print. So the print is from an Art Gallery Fabrics jersey and it's a cotton and elastine mix. Um, the back is just boring really, it's the same sort of shape as a normal Frankie t-shirt but I'm pleased I had a go at doing the button brackets. It's not perfect this particular one but I'm definitely going to try it again in the future. I used some interfacing on here and I could probably have done with not using interfacing because it just made it a little bit thick really but um, I think it looks okay and I really like the look of a button placket on a t-shirt. So first of all let me show you my socks. So I've just washed a batch of socks and because we've got so many now I actually stick them in a wool wash in the washing machine and give them a quick spin in my wool spinner just to get the excess water out and there's 48 pairs on here all drying and this is a heated um, rack from Lakeland which I find super useful for getting things dry. So I've finished work for the day and we've had some tea and I've sat down to do a little bit of knitting. So I have been working on my socks that I showed you, must have been a few days ago. So because I finished my other socks that I was working on, I picked up the second sock of my I Put a Spell on You colourway socks and I've already done the heel flap and gusset and pick up the stitches around the sides. So I'm doing the decreases at the moment and you can see that I'm using my little progress keeper out of my advent calendar from ducky darlings i think that this little shoe is the most adorable thing ever <laughs> so i'm going to be working on those but before i get on with my knitting i thought i'd show you some of the blankets and the quilts that i keep in my lounge so normally I keep some blankets just here and quilts so that when we're watching the TV and we're getting a bit cold we can grab one and use them on our apps. So I thought I'd go through some of the ones that I've got on there that I had made. This first one is a ripple blanket and the pattern is by Attic24, Lucy from Attic24 and I made this absolutely ages ago and I used some Stylecroft um, acrylic yarn so it could be chucked in the washing machine. It's not a massive blanket but it is ideal to stick on your lap to keep you warm when you're watching the telly. So that's the first one. The second one I've got to show you is probably my favourite to be honest. It is the gorgeous Nature's Walk blanket and this pattern is by Sandra of Cherry Heart and I actually bought the kit to make this because I love the colour so much. I bought the kit um, and it was from Black Sheep Walls. All the colours were the ones chosen by Sandra and I just loved them and the patterns were just so fun to crochet. absolutely loved it. And it's quite a big blanket as well. I've still got it folded up. I did actually do a lot more squares than it said in the pattern. Um, and I managed to get it out of the yarn that I got. But I love it. I'm afraid the light's not brilliant at this time of day. But you get the idea. 
um, it is a gorgeous pattern. I'm sure you can still get the kits for this one. The other two I've got to show you are quilts that I made ages ago. So this one is a, uh, a nine patch quilt. Um, basically you've got nine squares that are this size and then I've actually bordered them and then cut them. Um, you can just about see where the cut lines were and then I've twisted them round. Hopefully that makes sense and then it makes like a, a sort of present sort of shape which I thought was really interesting. I used a pack of charm squares I think to make this one but I really enjoyed making that. I really should make another one and I did some um, vermicelli free motion quilting which you can probably see on the back a bit better than the front. I do love to do a bit of free motion. I haven't done a lot of quilts recently. There's never enough hours in the day. <laughs> and last but not least, it's a huge... <laughs> I'm not sure whether you'll be able to get the full impact of this one. It is a massive quilt that I made and it's got some half square triangles to make like a, an impact diamond on one side and then there's some negative space on the other and I've just done some quilting where it's like as if the, the strips have carried on if that makes sense but obviously because I, this is massive I can't really show you very well <laughs> I wonder if I can find a picture of it hung up because I did show it at one of my local quilt festivals a couple of years ago so I might be able to find a picture of it all laid out so you can see the full effect but there we go that's all my blankets and quilts that I've got in my lounge I think it might be time to get some chocolate out of those advent calendars so what's going to be in your advent chocolates today Adam? Know, is it 14? yeah there's a Maltese sticking out Ooh. a lint Ooh. and a milky way you're very spoiled today I am number 14 Oh, it's another section of wall, I think. Oh, brilliant. Got a new bit of window opening with a chocolate frog inside. Hopefully you can see the chocolate frog. He's tiny. Reindeer chocolate today. Oh, we've got two. We've got a lint bear and a lint milk chocolate. Lovely. Good time, dancing, dancing. All night long, we're gonna dance and dance and have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah.